Hello and welcome to another episode of the podcast. This is episode 62 and we're going to be talking about uh, Lego store openings because that's exciting. So today we have Ian and Carrie. Yay! I thought you weren't even going to introduce me. I thought I was just going to have to sit here quietly. Is that what that hand gesture was? Yeah. yeah. I was like, come on, don't worry, <laughs> oh, okay. I'm here too. So but... technically I'm here, but when you listen to this, I won't be here, right? Yeah. Because we are advanced recording because I'm away next week. And where am I, Ian? I don't know. I'll be at the opening of the Dublin Lego store. Will you? What day does it open then? It opens on the Thursday. It opens on the Thursday. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's exciting. Mm. So, but you're not just going to be opening, are you? I get to go to the preview event. You get to go it's to even the more preview. exciting. Yeah, I get to Ooh. go to the preview. But that oh, that's not the most exciting bit. No, that is the most exciting bit. Um, is it? Well, the thing that's funny is that we heard the Dublin store was opening, and we're like, "Ooh, new Lego store! That's not that far to go." We have friends in Dublin. It'd be nice to see them. Hmm. Let's go. And then they close the Leicester Square store for refurbishment, and suddenly you're like. Well, I'm going to go to that new Lego store, and now there's another new. I've put in, in, in inverted yeah. commas. Yep, those are inverted commas. Well done. Well, these are commas. Special. Is that why they're inverted? Yeah. Yeah, another new Lego store that we could have gone to the opening for. Yes. And got all the promos and stuff, but we wanted to go to the Dublin one specifically because yeah. we have Dublin friends. Dublin friends. Unfortunately, you're not going. <laughs> no. Because you have to watch the kids, because we could not work out a way to go. But how exciting is it to go to a Lego store first day? What do you reckon, Ian? Do you think it would be exciting, or are you, are you actually relieved you're not going? I don't like people. You don't like people, you don't like queues. Mm. And do you kind of feel, seen one store, seen them all? To a degree, yeah. Have you, so when we're recording this, the London store opened today. So Instagram is covered with people queuing and, mm. and going around that store. So have you watched some of that? I've seen little bits. Okay. So that one, I would say, seen one, seen them all, doesn't apply, right? Because it's the flagship store, biggest Lego store ever. And it's full of stuff that you wouldn't find ordinarily in a Lego store. Sure. So I kind of, I like the look of the ones where they've really customised it to the location. So if you go to our local Lego store, Southampton, you can't tell it's a Southampton Lego yeah. store. It's a Lego store. Yeah. So I'm not 100% sure whether the Dublin one will have special stuff or not. Because right. it is the only one in Ireland. So I'm, You'd hope yeah, that I'm they're going to have to see that. leprechauns and shamrocks and pints of Guinness. Yes, that's, that's what they'll have. Yeah. And potatoes. <laughs> um, whereas the the London one previously had loads of London-y type things. Mm. They had a, the big... Um, underground train that you could go and sit in yep. which is now gone mm. which is sad but now they've got a route master bus but you think you can get into that now mm. and they had the big mosaic on the wall of like the london map kind mm. of thing i don't know if that's still there or not i didn't see it i think they've right. swapped it out for harry potter so it's less location specific right feel. and more pushing harry potter yeah harry potter harry potter the edinburgh store uh, Brookitect went and visited that this week and that's got like another big mosaic of like location specific so they got like right. a bagpiper and things um, so I'd quite like to visit all of those kind of stores and see their mosaics and stuff because actually it's like going and seeing a show and like the mocks and things, it's quite nice to see yep, that's true <laughs> no you made me yawn <laughs> that was the longest reply ever and it's because you were trying to stifle a yawn but then me watching you yawn like Wah! right so that was professional wasn't it yeah so yeah i guess time will tell whether the dublin one has it but i like going to new lego stores because i get a stamp in my passport yeah and sometimes you get different things on the pick a pick wall that's exciting yeah but they're pretty much always the same yeah I think it's just a it adds another element of Lego tourism. Oh look, we're going on holiday to this location. Let's see if we can find a Lego store. So are you sad you're not coming? Not really. No. Okay. What do you think will be at the preview event? Do you think you'll get a Leprechauns. No, stop with the leprechauns. <laughs> Handing out pints of Guinness. Do you think there is something special you get for going to the preview? Or do you think it's just I don't know. you get to go a day early? I mean, I mean, I'm really excited. What should I wear? Should I wear like a, a big ball gown? Yes. Okay. It's going to be fancy, right? Yeah. So you can get certain things at the openings of Lego stores. So there's the Lego store mini thing that you get if you spend, I think it's £120. 
Right. You get that? Also, like... I think <sighs> okay. That wasn't helpful. You told me just to do them. Yeah, but not whilst... Not loudly. <laughs> Well, I, understand. I want you to yawn without making noise and without making faces. Right. You also, if you're one of the first 3,000 people, I think it is, you get the little tile that says, I love Lego store and then the right. the specific name, which I guess is quite cool. And you don't have to spend any money to get that. They just give those out. Oh, do they? Yeah. Just for turning up? Just for turning up. Wow. Yeah. So that's quite exciting. Participation awards. These what's, millennials. What's wrong with participation awards? I don't know. Okay. Just a fun thing to say. Is it worth going all the way to a new country to see a Lego store open to get that tile? No. No? Okay. I guess it depends on the type of yeah. collector you are. Hmm. If you like the rare stuff and you will, like, look what I've got. No one yeah. else has got all. Only 3,000 people have this. How good is that? Someone is trying to sell their, their Leicester Square one from today hmm. on eBay for £500 right now. That's ridiculous. Yeah. So... I went to the Lego store, I got something free, and then I tried to sell it for £500. Hmm. What kind of person does that make you? Um, Smart? I cheeky? Know. I don't know. If that brick has no value to you, like if you don't want the brick, should you not take it? Why? I don't know. Because then someone who might... Okay. Sorry. Stifle your yawns. <laughs> okay. I'll just stop looking at you. Because then someone who does want it misses out. They should have got there earlier. They didn't want it enough. What if they got there as early as they could get though? They didn't get there early enough. What if they only had one leg and therefore they almost got there but they hopped too slow? They didn't want it enough. Maybe they did but they just can't hop fast enough. They didn't want it enough. (laughs) They'd have wanted it more. They'd have got there the night before and camped out in a tent outside the store. I thought you were going to say if they'd wanted it more they would have regrown that leg. (laughs) But you know. Yeah, that's not quite how it works. Are you sure? Yeah. Right. But so I can understand if it was a Lego set, then you could say, you know, you're depriving a kid of getting hold of that Lego set and enjoying it. Mm -hmm. But it's a tile. You're not depriving a kid of a tile. So you think it's only wrong if you're depriving a small child or something? If, If there's not, if there's an adult fan of Lego who's really excited about that tile and they miss out. You shouldn't feel bad about them. No, because they've not put the effort in to get Maybe there. Maybe they did put in the effort and they were just unlucky that there was one more person in front of them. Than, than... It's n- So it's different to the whole, you know, when they do those limited edition things through the website and you just have to keep spamming refreshed in order to get it. Mm-hmm. The people who get those and sell them on, that's a completely different thing because they've not put any effort into getting it, really. If you queued up for hours to go in on the opening day, then... You've put in the work, you get it. Good. So you don't think they, you should have to say no to it if, yeah. you, if you just plan on selling yeah. it. Do you think there are people in the queue that queued up specifically to get it? If just they did, so then they they're sad. It. Okay, so we've made a judgement about those people Yeah. being sad. But yeah. you think that that's okay. If they want to be sad, that's okay. If they want to be sad, they can be sad. Yeah, they're not really wrong, but they are inadequate to be in the society. Yeah. Amongst all those other beings. Okay. Yeah. Right, interesting. I mean, I have no idea how close to £500 they will get for that time. No, it'll be interesting to see. I guess you could argue if you spend a day queuing up for something that's worth £500 and get £500 for it, then that's a fairly good day's work. Mm. Yeah, it's not a bad... bad Is someone actually going to pay £500? I don't know. I I wouldn't. No, because it's a tile. Yeah. If you want, you you can buy some tiles and I'll write on them. With the minifig factory thing, can you not print a tile that says the exact same thing? I have no idea. You, I, I still haven't worked out how that works, whether you can just take a picture and, and print a tile, or whether it's from a pre-thingied. But it doesn't seem that exciting to me. Does it not? No. But I'm very excited about my Dublin one that I'll be getting. Okay. So let's try and guess what the Dublin one will be like. Will there be queues? Day yes. one. You think that there are enough people excited about the island store? Yeah. It's the very first Lego store in Ireland. Yep. It must be exciting. Yeah. It's really nice to see that a whole country now has a Lego store yeah. that didn't before. Because AFOLs are worldwide, right? Probably. It's not, it's not like they're just in this country or other country. Mm. Do you think it's fair that some countries have way too many Lego stores? And how many Lego How stores do we define we? fairness? Well, if Ireland didn't have one and everywhere else did, how's that fair? I don't know. You've then got to understand the reason why Ireland doesn't have one. What? Is it because 
the property prices are too high? Is it because there's not enough Lego fans there to justify having one? I mean, there's so many different variables to try and argue that it's unfair that a country doesn't have one. Now, if you've got a country where there's one person living in the country who wants to buy Lego from a Lego store... So do you think the, what, like the number in America is because there's so many people buying in America that they justify them all? I don't know. Lego stores aren't really meant to make a profit, so it's a bit complicated. Yeah. So that they are mainly there so that Lego has a presence on the high street. So people think about Lego as a company. Do you know, I don't even feel like America has high streets in my head. Do they have high streets? High street, in my in my opinion, is a very British thing. I don't know. Like that term, I don't feel like I would ever hear an American go, I'm just popping down the high street. Like, that's very much British. <laughs> it is a very British thing, yeah. isn't it? So, you saying that, I'm like, mm. Lego, what a present on the high street. What, in in New York? New York mm. High Street? I'm just popping out to New York High Street. Yeah. That's a weird thing to say. It is. I'm going to go to New York and say it. Just okay. popping down the high street. <laughs> okay, so they want to have a present in malls. Is that better? <laughs> I thought you were going to say more places, and then you said malls in a really weird way. So it wasn't better, but it probably is more accurate. Good. Yeah. There we go. Malls. So is it that they don't think that Irish people will spend enough on Lego to bother getting them interested, or is it that they think everyone in Ireland already knows about Lego? I don't know. But it does deny them like things like minifigure packs and poly bags and stuff and all of those yeah things. but isn't the way to fix that make it so that everyone has access to it via online online which they i guess and have moved towards yeah because they've now got that you can get minifigs and minifig factories and so the printable yep. ones online do they do the mosaic factory online as well i can't imagine they do but i'll check that's overly expensive anyway so. it is stupidly expensive what sorry why did Lego just send me to Poland website? I put in Lego and I went, you want to go to the Polish website? Yeah. That was weird. Oh, you can do that online. Yeah. I didn't even know you could. So what's the point of going to the store anymore then? If you can do all of these things online, what's the point of going to... Because the Mosaic Maker, like that used to be just a London store, like when it first opened. Mm. It was like, look at this new thing. Yeah. Now it's everywhere. We've got one in Southampton and you can do it online. Yep. So why go to the stores? I don't know. Do you feel like you need assistance to buy Lego? Like, sometimes you have a... Sorry. <laughs> your face said, like, why do I need assistance to buy Lego? <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with me? What do you get that? But as in, sometimes you go to a store because there are people who need help buying that thing. Right. I guess, like, parents maybe, well, what would my child like? Which, like, which ones? Yeah. It just doesn't feel like the same kind of thing. I don't know. Like, you don't need to check your fit kind of thing. No. Or anything like that. It's an odd concept. So, yeah, so do Lego stores even matter anymore? Should they just get rid of all of them? Don't give them that idea. But, like, yeah, they're opening up new ones. They're trying to make them bigger and better, but they're also making everything available online. Yeah. So what's the point? Yeah. I mean, obviously... I want to get the stamps. That's the point. So you can get your stamps. Yeah. I guess... The pab wall is so much cheaper than using the online pick a brick. It's not it's not anything about that, is it? It's about kids going into Lego stores and playing and having fun. Hmm. That's what it is. It's kids that maybe don't have Lego at all yeah. going into a Lego store and going, Oh, this is fun. Mummy, 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 can I have it? Yeah. That's what they are. But they can do that in toy shops. Not to the same extent. So We had a make and take at the local toy shop. It's not a Lego store. Kids can go there, build Lego, take it home with them. But not any time. So any time, like now it's no longer COVID and they've brought the the demo bins, is that what you'd call them, out. A kid can go and just play in the Lego store and experience the joy of Lego. Other toy shops could do that. They could. And I guess that's something that we haven't discussed on the podcast, is Lego are branching out to be more toy shoppy so with the target thing where you can take your receipt and upload it and get vip points yeah 
they are rewarding you for buying Lego no matter where you're getting it from kind of thing. Yep. And the 90 years of play, there was the competition of, you prove you bought some Lego, you will be entered into the competition. You don't have to buy it specifically from Lego themselves. Right. Just upload your receipt and whew, yep. you're in the competition. So they seem to recognise that other places are okay. Yeah. So this is it. if they can get people getting VIP points from non-Lego stores... Mm-hmm. And that then encourages those people to buy from lego.com. Yeah. Why do they need those Lego stores? Yeah. So what you're saying is they spent all this money on two brand new kind of Lego stores. And it's all exciting and stuff. Mm. But what we're saying is why did they bother? Yeah. Wow, that's not how I thought this episode would go. Mm. I was excited about going to the new Lego store. I'm still excited about going to the new Lego store, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to get stamp. Please don't let me forget my passport. Okay. If I get to the airport and I've got the wrong passport and I've only got my Lego one and not the other one, then priorities mm-hmm. completely wrong. Make sure I've got two passports with me. Three passports because I've got two Three. Lego passports. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's very exciting. It is. You're not excited at all. Are no. Are you excited that I'm not going to be here? Yep. <laughs> I feel so loved. What do you think I need to look out for? Like... What Shops. would you like to see? Oh. Um, so what? I'm going to go to this Lego event. You're not going to be there. Yeah. What do you want me to send you a picture of? I don't mind. You don't care? No. You don't really want to see it at all? I'm sure you can send me some pictures if they've got interesting displays. I guess that's something they do do in... Do, 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 do. Um, <laughs> sorry, I said do do and it made me laugh. Yeah. Um, they do in Lego stores and that's the showcase program where you can get your model in there. Yeah. Like as a... A lug benefit. You couldn't do that in another store, could you? What's the point of that? To show the things you can do with Lego more than just build the thing on the box. It's about promoting creativity, which is kind of the point of Lego. Yeah. I don't see that as a major thing. You don't, but Lego do. But you know, as I said, if you get a toy store that's got a small table with some Lego on it, that promotes creativity more than showing someone's mark. A kid walking around looking at the sets on display and some of those sets being mocks they won't know, doesn't won't. impact them. No. They don't go, oh, that one's not an official set, therefore you can be creative with Lego. They'll just go, oh, look, you can also build that. They might go, I want that. And then you go, oh, no, you can't buy that. And then yeah. they get upset. Yeah, I never really thought about that. Poor kids. That, I want this one. Mm. Where is it? That's Yeah, that's kind of what I mean. Um, so you think they should close all Lego stores? And I think they should open more and more because I want more stamps. So, I'd miss the pad wall. Yeah. What do you think of the Leicester Steel Air pad wall? So I don't know if you've seen the design is different to the current pad walls. Is it? Yeah. In what way? It's different. It's different. Yeah. I'll just visualise that. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Small, I think it's smaller containers and more of them. I think they, they look different. They're more rectangular. I guess that's... But it's just, they've just changed the design, really. So they're shallower drawers. Yeah. Right, okay, wow. Radical redesign of the pad wall there. What do you think of the fact that you can get Lego House-specific sets at the opening of the Leicester Square store today? That's a bit weird. That you could only get normally in Billund. Do you think that's? Do you think that takes away from the fact that they're exclusive to Billund? Somewhat? Yeah, I can imagine someone who's just come back from Billund with that set and then walked into... Leicester Square opening and seen that they could have just bought it there rather than having to fly out somewhere else. But they would have got to the bring experience of going to Billund and mm. all the other stuff that they can see. Yeah. Like the Lego house has more than just the duck yes. that you can buy. I, I, I don't mean that it has other exclusive sets. I mean, the house itself is cool. Yeah. So what does it matter? Does it not mean it's better for those who could never afford to go to Billund and still really want those Lego exclusive sets? <sighs> Not really. Making it generally available would. Mm. So I see this and I was like, oh, do I want that? Do you want that? The Lego no. duck? Because... But you'd buy it and sell it. Would you? You'd buy that and you'd sell it? I don't know. Because I'd look at it and I'd go, I have no interest in that set. Mm. Even if I went to Lego Billund, I wouldn't come home with that set. Mm. Because I can appreciate it and I look at it and go, that's quite cool. But I don't want it. Mm. And just because it's exclusive doesn't make me want it more. You're, you're growing as a person. Yeah, there, but there are some things that that doesn't work on. Mm. But this, I, I don't know. So I think I'd just leave it on the shelf. Okay. I wouldn't bring it home and sell it. Maybe okay. I would. 
No, I don't know. Because I'd know that someone else would look at that and go, I really want that. So I'd just leave it for them. Hmm. But you could buy it and then sell it over here to someone who really wants it who can't go and get it. Oh, so if I'd gone all the way to Billund, you'd say I should bring it back? I don't know. Mm. Is it a case of at some point Billund will run out of them? Or do they just keep making more? Well, I guess if people are excited by the fact that there has been new Lego stores opening, specifically the Dublin one, stay tuned to the channel because I will at some point do a vlog of that, I think. Yeah. Or at least a, a short video of what it was like when I went. Um, so you can all see. And that might be interesting for you to watch. Or if you're like Ian, skip that one. I'm sure I'll watch if you make a video. Yeah. Anyway, you can wrap this episode up because it was your okay. episode, remember? I forgot that, yeah. So, obviously, you can catch the previous episodes in our playlist on YouTube, uh, which can be found in the description down below. Ignore Carrie yawning in the background. You can't hear me yawning because I yes, did it silently. Can. Unlike you, the entire episode. <laughs> oh, my God. There was so much yawning that I had to edit out. <laughs> um, it will also be listed in the show notes. I don't know what show notes are. It's I think bit... that's like a Spotify thing, it's maybe. A, yeah, it's a podcast-specific thing. Um, and then we will have more episodes in the future. So come back and listen to them. Bye. Bye. Go to the Lego store.